What's up London, my name is Oshin Lahane and I'm the host of Lahane Listens and right now tonight I'm very excited about this one. This is the very first actor I've ever had on Lahane Listens. So Joshua Ford, you got a new project coming out, it's called Cosmos. Tell me all, all about it brother. Uh, I will do. Yeah, no, thanks for having me here. Oh mate, yeah, I, it was a pleasure when, uh, <laughs> when I heard that you wanted to be on the show. I was super excited that you guys thought that you could make a movie about outer space without no budget. Yeah. Fuck? yeah, yeah, yeah. How um, do you even go about that? Well, it's, it, yeah, it does sound a bit, a bit, bit strange, but basically um, I'm involved in uh, a movie called Cosmos and um, it's a project with, with no budget set aside behind What's it. What's the There's no budget, so we just got together and decided to, to make this movie. Um, there's a story to tell and uh, I mean, I was cast in it by the directors, Elliot and Xander Weaver. Good um, choice, by the way. Yeah, th- throw them out there because they're going to be big. I promise you, they're going to be massive. Um, and yeah, I just signed on to it and, and, and we made this movie with no budget that seems to be doing or, or heading in the right direction. Because is... I watched the, um, the making of it and uh, the, I think they had another movie before in, in the works that uh, they nearly got the funding for, but they didn't quite. And so they they went on to make a movie like this. Uh, what was the movie before called? So what they the, what they originally did because they they can you didn't go to they didn't go to film school or anything. What they did is they uh, wrote a movie themselves. These two guys that are passionate about movies and they wrote a movie called Encounter, and um, they went to investors and everything. And they were this close to getting the money to put it on a multi million pound project. And uh, everyone they went to said, you know, well we're not going to give you guys money to. To, to make a movie because you've never made a movie prove to us you can make a movie and they were basically saying well, it's yeah, your audacity well exactly well, what it's your audacity to do something like that we're trying to make a movie <laughs> like, give us the money to make a movie so they went okay alright we'll prove to you we can make a movie and we'll do it with nothing and they, they, right. they did that and I think um, and they, they'll correct me if I'm wrong but I think they did this as a sort of to begin with as a sort of okay we'll do this to get the money to do the bigger the project we wanted to do and then as we started doing it, and they cast me, and they cast uh, other amazing actors and, and friends, um, and, and, and now they're, they're, they're focused. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they want to even make that first movie anymore. They might do. Encounter. Yeah, I don't know. Because I heard like, what they were on about, what they were banging on. It sounded yeah. like a good... I would like to see that film. Well, yes, yeah, so would I. But I, I'm not sure if they... Um, I'm not sure if that's still their plan. I think maybe... I, I might be wrong. But I know that Cosmos kind of took their priority and they realised that it wasn't just a, a, a fun project to, to get anywhere else. They realised that they could actually make this something. And, um, uh, and like, yeah, I'm here to talk about that and me and whatever. And, and I mean, I, I like it. And I love the fact that I have you on the show today. Well, to I'm proud to be here, man. Today, I really am. Somebody told me they had no money to make the show whatsoever. Like, you told me something about, like... Uh, you were using shopping trolleys and using Christmas so, uh, lights. Wheel- and- uh, wheelchair. So we had a we had a. There's a, when when I met Elliot and Zander the for the first time, and um, they spoke to me about um, getting into the movie, and I was like, oh, okay, how are you going to do a movie with no budget? And I had I was a bit on the attack, so I was like, well, okay, how are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? Like, hey, to, as you would be an like, actor, yeah, like, you're, you're fucking risking your career. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to catch him out. Something like that. I'm trying, I'm trying to catch him <laughs> out a little bit. I'm trying to catch him out, being like, I, okay, I yeah, too. all right. And they're like, well, we're just going to get a wheelchair and we'll just do this. And um, I, think they, I think it's in the making of video, actually, of, the, of Xander on a wheelchair going across this car park. And it just looks so cool. Like, they, 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 they cut corners in the right way. Like, they saved money in the right way, should I say. Yeah, they didn't cut man. corners. But, um, yeah, no, they, they, we, we did a movie with, 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 with no money. And that's fucking awesome, man. Mm. But uh, the, so tell me what what the premise is of it. From what I understand from the trailer, is you get a signal from another planet or something like that, and maybe <laughs> it's uh, uh, it, it's it's quite difficult for me to say without giving it away. But um, essentially, so there's three amateur astronomers, uh, which I play one of them. And you're the main guy, though, isn't it? Oh, uh, well. You're I the like one it. I see the most. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's quite a modest guy, man. Main guy, um, no, well, yeah, kind of. Um, you know, the other, you know, I'm, I'm not. But um, the, the premise is uh, three amateur astronomers who uh, 
do a scientist by day. Right. And then in the evening, they like to go up and just look at the stars with the homemade equipment. And, and it's their passion, it's their hobby. It's what and they, they love find to do. something. And they find um, a signal, um, what they believe to be from outer space. and Contacting them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And okay. it's, it's that discovery of what it is, where, it's come, where it comes from, if it's real, if it's genuine, if it's fake. Uh, and, and how these three small town regular people can can maybe change the world or maybe get to know more about each other it's 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 about people more so than anything i like else. it man that was dope to no, me it's though cool. man it's cool it's cool so and but you're flying down to la soon now yeah. yeah yes, yes i am up. i am i'm flying to la are you, I'm, are you a bin no 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 Never. Never. I've, I've, I've been to new york and and got a lot of family in baltimore so i've been there but um i've been to uh, Los Angeles. So we, so the directors um, and uh, me and Arjun and Tom, who are the other two guys in in Cosmos, uh, we're flying out to LA for ten days, um, going to a, the the premiere of Cosmos, the US premiere of Cosmos uh, in Beverly Hills on the seventh of November. Oh, you must be hyped, like I'm. I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. You know, your six year old Josh. Me, uh, you know, you think about being an actor and going to sort of uh, seeing yourself in a cinema screen and going to these premieres, or whatever. Like, oh, that'd be awesome! And it's like it's actually happening, and it's it's all a bit surreal, really. But hey, uh, there's a recurring question as well. We always like to see on this show. I don't know if you've seen the previous episodes. There's a question we always ask people: the R. Kelly question. Do you think he did it or not? Do you, are you familiar with that? <laughs> <laughs> Do I think he did it? Uh, is he guilty? Um, not he, yet. No, not in court. But well, oh, shit. Maybe on the show you might be. I, think, <laughs> I, I have to stick by guilty as charged. So I, 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 won't, um, I won't shame a man that's not, uh, not been charged. If he has been charged, then yeah, probably. And in my own personal opinion, probably, yeah. Probably. I like that. But if I this like comes that. out and it's like, he's been, you know, he's cool, then he's, then, okay. Man um, handled the R. Kelly question like a pro. Like, thank he you. didn't give too so much politics away. Is my, <laughs> <laughs> politics is my next bet, I guess. I don't know, he but. went with popular, popular votes, but didn't, uh, didn't leave Robert out there in the cold. Yeah. After all, he did give us. Sit on the I fence wish. and you'll never go wrong. He did give us, I don't see nothing wrong with a bump grind. He made us believe we could fly. But did he do it? We got about another four or five episodes before the verdict comes out. <laughs> and we're going to find out. <laughs> Live here on the Hey Listens. Because I listen to you. But uh, apart from acting and apart from everything else, and partying and your, your girlfriend like it. What else do you do with your life, man? What's to do? Um, I... Uh... Like I, I think I've mentioned it, but I, I, I love creativity. I, I love expression. Um, I, I wake up and just want to paint something, or um, or go you, around with my camera. Yeah, I, I, well, it's funny. I started painting a couple of months ago. Um, I woke up one morning and I, I just decided I wanted to start painting, which is strange because I, I was terrible at, at school. Um, but I just decided to go down to the local shop, get some canvas, get some paint. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, went, I, went, I went a little. Why did you even ask? I'm awesome. Play trash board on the wall. <laughs> no, no, I'm all right. I'm okay. I, although I'm that sort of arrogant, I have put all my paintings up in our living room at home. <laughs> all no, my paintings, that, it must be good, then, man. All the paintings on the wall. And my girlfriend's like, uh, I'm like, hey, they're there. <laughs> Do you know one painting I want? I want the one in Goodfellas. You know when Joe Pesci goes yeah. home. Yeah. He's like, Ma, I love the one where you, you have a dog that goes that way, and then you got another dog that goes that way. <laughs> I want that painting, bro. <laughs> I just like it. It's just cool. You can sit, you put, is... some, put some music on, have a, a beer or something, and then you paint just, just paint stuff, and it can be anything. And it can, if it's not good, you can pretend it is, and people will pretend exactly. it is as well. Because they don't want to hurt your feelings. I mean, a man fucking, have you ever seen that fucking art piece where the man fucking painted a can of, like, peas? Or a can of beans. There's like a really yeah. famous oh, the, artwork. Uh, Lichtenstein. That's the one, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. It's, a, it's a can of fucking beans. But everyone's like, hmm. Genius. 
He mm. looked into the soul of the beans. He looked into the soul of the beans and... Uh... It's a fucking can of beans, man! Oh, yeah, well, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> you're just wishing you... You're wishing you painted I the wish first. I could paint that yeah. good. Or I could see through the fucking lines that this man yeah. achieved in life to get him to a stage where he could just paint the can of beans. And everyone's like, it's fucking sick. I wish I could make a TV show as me sitting here next to a can of beans chatting and everyone be like, that's brilliant. Wow. Artistic. Whoa. <laughs> so, Josh, like, does it feel like nowadays, like, obviously, like, you work so hard to achieve what you've achieved in life now and uh, I've done what you've done. Does it feel any different um, getting up in the morning and looking yourself in the mirror and not looking in the mirror and saying, look, I'm going to do some job for some company. Uh, but no, today I'm going out and making a film, making a print. Does it feel any different? Is yeah. there a transition between it? Is, do you feel a bit more? It feels pretty cool. It does feel pretty cool. Um, I You're mean, still getting used to it? Like, or? Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. I was, uh, I was, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say the company I was working with. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you can. Yeah. Like, oh, we'll see you and we'll wait out. Yeah, okay. Well, I was working with and I, I worked with them for 10 years and I loved them. And I loved it on the whole. Um, but when the time drew to an end, my, my girlfriend, my partner said, you know, I think you should get out of there. And I was like, yeah, I should. I was a bit frightened, not sure what was lined up. And I thought, well, I need to have a day job going to supplement, you know, the auditions, the rehearsals that I had going. Um, but I didn't, and I just left. And um, and from then, I, I, lit, I, I came out and then just got a load of acting work and I, imagine I, 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 I know those exp- aspiring actors out there in the world and everything like that are dying to know do you know what I mean like did, did you have to take a risk did you have to be like fuck it I gotta go yeah. and maybe maybe it was the risk I think I think a lot of it was yeah maybe it was the risk yeah I, I needed I needed the danger I needed the you know of course I, just, man you know, I have rent to fuck pay it. bills to pay but I kind of came out and was just um I don't know, I just came out and something switched in my, my head. And um, I, I just, just, you know, it, Cause like it from, was that need more than want. I, absolutely. I you, you need it. Because when you know in yourself and you know in your life that you got more to give for this, uh, for this world, you don't want to be waking up every day and being like, oh, I'll keep going back to the company I'm working for, keep going back to them because I need the money off them. Sometimes you have to say, fuck it. Let's take a risk. Let's make some. Like, it's, isn't especially when it comes to sort of, you know, that that um, making something. Yeah. Or or, or making of yourself, something creative and making something that's your own design, your own. Or just being a part of something that's not part of the the as, as wanky as it sounds, being part of the system where money rules the world is. I mean, unfortunately, we are all ruled by money mm. because that is how. Not the for world talented works, people like us, though, man. No for ones. talented <laughs> people like us, no, man. I've still got rent to pay, so. <laughs> yeah, but if you got a project, if you got something coming out, and if you fully believe in it, yeah. it's gonna happen, bro. Hundred percent. It's oh, well, gonna that's, happen. That's the visualization, isn't it? I mean, I'm a, I'm a. Uh, again, apologies if it's like all too wanky, but if you visualize something. I said it earlier, um, if you visualise something and it's sort of coming to fruition and you can, you can sense it, you can feel it, then, then your head makes the subconscious choices to, to fulfil that, that, that desire. Um, I think I, I, I work with a lot of actors in... in well, particularly yeah. I worked with a lot of actors that were all talented in their own right. I've, I've heard them sing. But they ain't got the balls to go and do it. Well, maybe, well, maybe that's it. Maybe it's that, but it's... it's you. They hadn't even conceived that it's possible, um, and it is. I it, think it, 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 it you're really living is. proof. It very much is possible, man. And and it is. It, well, it absolutely is. And and so are you. You're here right now making something. I'm trying. Some, um, <laughs> well, that's, that's, I'm not at the level but, you but, are. But but that's the first. That's Whoa. the first step, though, isn't it? it it's, <laughs> you know. And and I just. It, it's that. It's that visualization is imaging like putting in your head the image of um what you want and what you're gonna do and um, how you're gonna make it happen maybe. yeah exactly and how are you gonna do it and then your head makes the subconscious choices whether you know it or not to to, to exactly point, to, to make uh, to compel you to make all the decisions exactly to get you there 
I, I, I really, I firmly believe in visualize, uh, you visualization. You seem very much to me as a man that's fully there, man. I've seen the trailer, and I don't think you have anything to be afraid about, brother. With Cosmos, like, uh, like obviously, with being an actor in London, and you get a lot of horror stories from um, actors who come up in London. Was there ever a stage in like? terms of acting and stuff that you thought you wasn't going to make it or you thought you was going to give up did you think that would happen or? um yeah i mean i i, I suppose that uh um, that fear is so uh relevant <laughs> and yeah and, and resonant um in in most actors i think um uh i maybe other actors would correct me but I think that's a, a a daily occurrence of you going. But anyone with talent, well, no, anyone well, who's I doing anything, because the 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 whole idea of acting is trying to be somebody else, or trying to pretend to be um, somebody different. It's not easy, um, man. Like. No, I don't think it is. And I think when you're constantly being rejected, which is so often the way, you you start to doubt. And were you rejected what, what, lots of times before? You well, me, along with every other actor in the vicinity, I think it, rejection is so more common than acceptance. And although it's not necessarily personal, a lot of the times it can feel personal, especially if you're getting no yeah, every day for, every for single years, time. you know? I can imagine. So you, you, you start to think that maybe you're not very good. Maybe, maybe you're not as good as this acting thing than, than you think. And then you'll get a job and you'll do it and you come back and you go, oh, you know what, I'm actually okay. I'm actually pretty good at this. But you, you start to believe you're not very good. So you wake up each day and you go, I mean, for me anyway, it's every day. You wake up and go, maybe I'm not as good as this as I thought. Do you think, though, there's been a tons of actors out there that could have been the next De Niro or the next Al Pacino that was told no one or two many times and didn't know yeah. how to take it and they just... Cut that career short. Yeah, I absolutely do. I've <laughs> worked with actors. I've, really? I've worked with, I've worked with people that are not necessarily in an acting scene, but in um, uh, in other scenes that I know are definitely talented Unreal. enough to like take it full steam. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes um, they don't think they're good enough, and it's not that I don't think they're good. They don't, think, and they don't it's think the world. they're good enough. And it's it's it is tough because I mean I, I said I wake up each day and I go God, am I good enough for this? Am I not? And, and you just have to just. But you kept it. going. Yeah, 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 and I'm still I'm I'm still going. I I will wake up tomorrow and wonder if um, I should probably stop because I'm Bye. you know or, I saw your trailer. And I thought, Jesus Christ, this is a serious actor right yeah. here, man. Well, you know, I, I watch the trailer should, right? every morning as well for the same reason. <laughs> like I say, if you were to say anything to any aspiring act, uh, actors or musicians or artists who were where you were five years ago, what would you say to them? Uh, just correct. Just, just do it. Just don't make excuses for why you can't write. Don't make excuses for why you can't paint. Don't make excuses for why you can't make movies or act. There's always somewhere around you where you can act. If it's an amateur dramatics group, join that. If it's in your room learning a monologue you learned from the internet, then just do that. Like, just just do, just make something. If you, you you know, you don't need a professional camera to make a movie. You can, you can make a story. You can put it out. Don't think about the money. Just, just make art. Just, just make, create. We're in a world at the moment where people are with briefcases and suits and ties and they're trying to rule shit. the world. And trying to tell us what to do. And I, Yeah, absolutely. And I think artists, we are, uh, uh, we have to create. It's in our bones. It would fucking destroy us if we don't create. Our superpower, it would kill us inside if we don't yeah, create. Absolutely, man. it would. Our superpower as human beings is our imagination and our creativity and it's something that we need to fulfill. And we're two brothers out here doing our own thing. My two brothers out here Never fucking making stuff. Exactly. Never God. Sense of art. Yeah. Exactly. Say what you wanna say. Get it out there. Get get yourself a camera. Get yourself a laptop. Get, and make steps towards creating. Stay away from them drugs and shit. Also, like, if you don't have a laptop or a camera or whatever, you can still create. You can just bloody sing a song as you're walking exactly. down the high street. I do it all the time. But funny do whatever you time. can, man. But get yourself out there and be you, man. Isn't that right? Ooh. Man, this has been my and this has been Josh Ford. It's been an absolute pleasure to make a show with um, an actor as great as this man today. He's thank been you. my first actor on the show today, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh no, thank you for having me. No, really thank you, it. Cheers, bud. It's been an absolute love. I can't wait for the premiere to Cosmos. By the way, I'm coming. 
I'm gonna be wearing a suit that's gonna blow your suit out of the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. out of the wall. I got, I got this it's beautiful gonna be, purple suit. It's, it's, it's gonna be banging. It's gonna you be like, you know, like Joker. I'm gonna look twen- 10 times more. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do 20. You're gonna do 20. Ten times I thought, more maybe more it won't be 20, that. maybe it'll be 10. But I can't wait for the promo. Yeah, right. thanks, man. I appreciate it. Love you, brother. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you so much. Josh Ford, Oshin Lahane, Lahane listens. Because we listen to you.